Hey everybody, it's Jonathan from Green Cover and I'm out here in my garden. Uh, about a month and a half ago, I released a video showing you how I was using a foot crimper to terminate my overwintering mix in my garden beds. Uh, and the, the goal was to get a really nice thick mulch uh, from the residue uh, that I could transplant my vegetables into. So I wanna show you what that looks like today. So I did have some issues with just crimping. Um, the, the rye died really well, uh, but the vetch really didn't and the peas didn't either. Um, and so I ended up tarping, uh, just using black plastic tarp after I crimped. Um, and that, that really, really solved the, solved the issue. So my recommendation, if you're doing this in your own garden beds is to go ahead and crimp it in order to lay it down, um, and then tarp it for a week. And that'll make sure that the, all of the diversity in that mix dies as well as the cereals. So what do my vegetables look like? Well, I've got some peppers here and you can see the, uh, the mulch looks, looks nice and thick. Um, there, there are barely any weeds coming through here. Most of the weeds are, are over here on the side of my living pathways. Uh, so you can see the grass weed, crabgrass coming in through there. Um, but besides that, uh, I really haven't weeded this barely at all. Cucumbers, we got marigolds in with the cucumbers. Again, you can see the, the grass weed on the side of our living path, but not very much in among the plants. Tomatoes, same thing. Uh, Swiss chard, beans in the background. So there are a lot of benefits to incorporating cover crops into your garden over winter. Uh, first of all, just adding diversity. You know, we've got cereal grains and legumes. You know, some of the legumes will even fix a little bit of nitrogen uh, for your vegetables. Beyond that, the residue acts as a mulch during the growing season, which helps to suppress weeds and retain moisture and continues to decompose and feed that soil biology uh, while your vegetables are growing. So let me know if you got any questions about transplanting vegetables into a crimped cover crop.